hope you all are doing good and today's video we are going to see in the chapter factorization factorize question number one they have given us 10 x squared plus 12 x cube plus 16 x bar 5 okay see here they have given all x terms okay so in this problem also we have to first split the numerical value into its prime factors and after that you have to write the variable terms okay so first we can divide this 10 12 16 all these uh, numerical value into its lowest prime factors okay so to uh, 10 if i divide by l division method i will get 2 into 5 so 2 into 5 next 12 if I divide by L division 2 times 6 and if I divide by 2 I will get 3 so 2 into 2 into 3 right and the last final 16 if I divide 16 by 2 I will get 8 and by 2 I will get 4 so I will do it here 16 2 8 times if i divide by 2 4 times and again i will do 2 times again two. so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so uh, 1 2 3 4 4 2 4 2 4 times 2 will make 16 okay so see in this see in this term I have got 1, 2 here and 1, 2 and 1, 2. So, I can write 2 and x squared. This is not x2. This is x squared. Okay. This is x squared. This is x squared. Okay. So, here I will write it over here. After this term will come. 2 is common in all the terms. See 1, 2 is here and 1, 2 is here. And third term also 1, 2 I can get. So I can take out this 2 outside and 1 x squared is here in the first term. Right? In the first term 1 x squared is here. And x cube is here. So I can take out x squared. And here x power 5 is there. Again I can take out x x square right so this is the first term and this is the second term and this is the third term so in all the three terms i have got one two in common and x squared this is x squared and x squared is common so i i am writing this as 2x squared into what x squared if it is taken out then only 5 will be remaining in the first term right and plus 6 x will be there in the second term and plus 8 x cube 8 x cube will be in the third term ok so the, our answer is 2 x cube square into 5 plus 6 x plus 8 x cube ok children do you understand how we have got the answer next the second one 15 a b plus 15 plus 9 b plus 25 a see in this problem there is no common terms in any any of the terms so if there is no common value in any of the terms we can regroup by grouping method ok so now I can write this uh, expression as I am combining two terms that is I am combining 15ab plus 9b as one term and again I am combining 15 plus 25a by grouping method if no other term is common then we can group group by grouping method we can group like this okay as two terms so in this 
two terms i can take out any if i get any common value i have to see see 15 ab plus 9b is our first term so i can ab plus 9b so in this i can divide if i can divide by any common number this 15 and 9 so so i am dividing it by 3 see if 3 3 into 5 is 15 so i am taking out 3 b is common in both the terms 3 b i am taking out and i and also can be divided by this 3 so i am taking out this 3 b and i am writing inside 5 a plus 3 Do you understand how I am getting this term? See, I am uh, dividing both the terms, this term, by three b, because b is in both the terms, so I am taking out b, and both these fifteen and nine can be divided by three. So, if I divide this fifteen a b plus nine b, I am getting three b into five a plus three. Okay, so next term. Fifteen plus twenty-five a. See, fifteen and twenty-five can be divided by five. It can be divided by five. So, if I divide by five, I'll take out this five, and I write fifteen is three. Three times five is fifteen. Plus fifteen a can be divided by five as five a. One a is here. So, I can write this as. Five into five a plus three. So here we are getting the uh, same term in both the uh, expression. So I can write this as commonly I can take out this five a plus three and I write this three b plus five. Three b plus five. Do you understand how we have to take? See both this factor are common in both the terms so i can write this term as one term considering as one term and i am grouping this 3b plus 5 as the another factor so i am getting 5a plus 3b into 3b plus 5 do you understand children mm, if we are not getting any common terms you have to do it by grouping method and i hope you have all understood the uh, factorization method in this problem and we'll see it see it in the next session take care